this. So our topic for today is main median mode. All right. So, uh, Trisha, can you read out what is mean? What do you see on the screen? The mean of a series of numbers is obtained by adding the numbers and dividing the result by the number of numbers. Number of numbers. Okay. So what if somebody tells you to find out the mean, you're basically finding the average, which means you're going to add up all of these numbers. And after adding up all of these numbers, you will figure out how many numbers are in all, in all there and you will divide it by, by the number numbers present. All right. That is that uh, that way you will figure out what is your mean. Clear? Mean is clear. Second, Kyra, read out what is median. Kyra, what is sorry, median? Sorry, ma'am. Yeah. Median is a series of numbers which is obtained by arranging the num uh, the numbers in an ascending order and then choosing the number in the middle. Okay. So what if is there important? are two middle numbers and uh, then, then the you find the average of yeah, the you have two to find numbers. Average of the two numbers. So, in when so the question tells you to find out the median, that means you're going to first arrange the numbers. Mean, you don't need to actually arrange them, but for median, arrangement is a must. But otherwise, Trisha will have a different answer, Kaira will have a different answer, and Shomik will have a different answer. So we want the numbers to be arranged when and which which arrangement arrangement can be in the two orders ascending or descending we prefer ascending order so from small to big you will go and then you will put all the numbers in that order and figure out which one is coming in the middle okay now if there are even numbers you will have two middle numbers if it is odd number then there there will be there will be only one middle number so one middle number is easy you just find say that th this is your median the one middle number but if it is two middle numbers then what you will do is add up the two divide by two. Two yeah. middle numbers, you'll add them and divide by two. That's how you find the average of these two numbers. Clear work? Clear it? Right? Some yes. n plus one thing. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. We'll go there slowly. All right. Next, uh, Trisha, read the third one. Uh, the mode of a series of numbers is simply the number which occurs most often. Most of the time. So mode will be a number which is occurring most of the times. Now, some number which is being, which is you feel is repetitive is what you will say is the mode. Now let's do one question based on this. Yes. You're supposed to, this is a number which is given to you, all of you. Now you're supposed to find the mean, all right? The, the question is here. This is your question, okay? Five, four, 10, three, three, four, seven, four, five, right? So what, what do we do for mean? Kaira, what do we do for mean? You have to add all of them. So we will add all of them. We have sare numbers, so we will add them up. All of them, we add them up. And how many are there in all? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So in all, there are 10. So we divide. divide by. Add all of them and divide by the number, which is the how many numbers they are present there. All right. And you do that, you get your mean. Okay. Mean is easy. Median. What is the prerequisite for median? What is the most important thing for median? What is very important for median? Uh, arranging in order. Arranging in order. So without that, you can't go ahead with the question. You have to arrange in the order. You don't you'll get a different answer. And which, yes, you will all have a different answer, and, and only the arrangement one will be the correct one. Which arrangement has it, it is supposed to be in? Which Ascend. order? Ascending. Ascend. Okay. Now you tell me now these are 10 in all because we counted here. These are 10 in all, 10 values in all. So if I'm going to find out the middle numbers, let's figure out one. 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5. Ab kya hua? Yaan pe do middle numbers aage. 4 on this side, 4 on this side, there are two middle numbers. So what do we do? In median, we will find the average. 4 and 5 ka average. So how do you do it? 
four plus five divided by two, which is how much? Four plus five is nine upon two point five. That will be your answer. Clear, right? Is that clear? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Add and divide by two, right? Add and add um those two and divide by two, right? Right. Okay. Now this part is clear. How to find mean and median? Now mode is the easiest one. That's the most easy. What do we do for mode? We will figure out in your arrangement. Check which one is the one which is very frequent. I three, see three is coming twice, four is coming three times, five is twice, six is once, seven is once, ten is once. Which is the most frequent number? Four. Four. What is the median? Oh, sorry, four. what is the mode? Four. four. So your mode is four, your median is four point five, and your mean is five point one. I hope we are clear on how to find these. Clear? Okay. बहुत आसान है ये. This part is very easy. Okay. Now I will give you something which other. Uh, now we will talk about frequency tables okay. now what is a frequency table i'll just show you one example so you tell me when you look at this The, the thing that which i'm going to show you next uh, here is there any difference in the kind of questions which you saw previously and now this one do you see any difference previous question and this one it's um with the mark and the frequency right so yahan par tha yahan par also there was 5 4 10 33 when you arranged it How many times is three occurring? Two, two times. So instead of writing it like this, three and three twice, four three times. You write frequency. What if I write it is in a table? So like instead of writing it like this, what if I write it like this? Three and three is occurring twice. Four and four is occurring thrice. Five and five is occurring twice. Are you getting my point? And this one will still be called as x, and this one will start. We we start calling it as f. F. Yani. frequency so exactly something similar has been shown here this actually means that zero is coming four times 0 0 0 one is 19 times now you see now you understand how it's easier to write 19 times in a table rather than writing one 19 times isn't it so many times i'll have to write so rather than writing it in this way i will write it in a form of a table that makes my work easier are you getting this Are you getting this? Yes or no? Yeah. I want to hear from you all. All right? Yes. Yes. So you understand why do we need a table? Because instead of if something is repeated twice or thrice, it's fine. But if something is repeated twenty-five times, hundred times, I better have a table than just you know keep writing it down. Right? Right? Okay. Now again, what are we supposed to do here? In this question, we have to find again the mean, the median, and the modal mark. Modal means the mode. Okay, modal mark means the mode. Mean, median, mode. How do we find out mean? Mean we have to add up all of them and divide by the total number. Okay. Now here is something that children make a mistake very often, and what is that mistake? Before telling you the mistake, I want to tell you what this frequency table is all about. Okay. Frequency table shows the number x here. the which is your mark or score or whatever you're making a table for and the frequency which means the number of times that has occurred okay so what children do is suppose i say zero so they they count okay kitne are they, what is the data it is zero 1 2 3 4 only n is equal to 4 do you think this is correct do you think this is correct of course not it's not correct why is it not correct why is it not correct reading count zero because the frequency you forgot which means zero is occurring four times one is occurring 19 times two is occurring 25 times you forgot that you just counted this 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 ho gaya panch baar the n is equal to 5 very very common mistake are we going to do that mistake no No. What are we actually supposed to count? The add total them. number is n. Is this? Add them. 
okay so for that now we have a symbol okay we will be often using this symbol now the symbol is called sigma which means the sum of what is it called sigma which means the sum of you just this this symbol only means you need to add okay so we are going to do the first question we have to find the mean so sub first thing uh, i want you to write the formula now you are going to do this question with me okay you all have your calculator ready with you calculator pen and paper yeah, yeah. I'll just get a calcic. Sorry, I'll tell you. Everybody is ready with the calculator also. Kara, I am not able to see your. Uh... Uh, yeah, I'm just saying my calculators on the laptop. Okay, take it. So shall we start? The first thing that we are supposed to fi find out in the previous question, we had to find out mean. All we had to do was add up all of them and divide by counting the number divided by the number counted. Okay, but in this question, we have a frequency table. In frequency table, there is a formula for us, right? What formula is that? You have sigma x into f divided by sigma f. What did I tell you what sigma means? Sigma means all you need to do is add up, right? You just need to add up, okay? I want you to please write down this formula for mean. Okay. Now, I want you to make a table quickly. In your table, you will write mark. So please write down. I'll just show it to you what you need to write. You will write mark. That mark you will write as X frequency. That frequency you'll write as F. Sorry, it's disappearing. I'll just write again. Mark X frequency F in the next column. Now you will write all of these numbers here in your column, okay? Zero, one, two, three, and four. In the next column, you will write the frequency. Frequency is four. Four nineteen and all. Nineteen, twenty-five, twenty-nine, twenty-three. Now these two columns were already given in the question. What we are going to do next is we will write a column as f x. Okay, f x likho ya f x f likho. Both are correct. You can write f x. Or you can write x f. You can write x f. Now x f means you have to multiply zero and four. These two columns. Zero into four is zero. Nineteen into one. One into nineteen. So basically, you're finding the product of the first and the second column. Nineteen. Twenty-five into two. Two into twenty-five. Give me the answers, please. Fifty. Next, what do I write? Twenty-nine into three. Ah, into twenty-nine. Twenty-nine into three. Yeah. Answer. Answer. Oh. Give me the value. What do you get? Eighty-seven. Eighty-seven. Last column. Nine. Four into twenty-three. Ninety-two. Ninety-two. Okay. Then you are supposed to. This was just sigma x f. Now you have to. This is just x f. Now you have to do sigma x f, which means add up zero, nineteen, fifty, eighty-seven, and ninety-two. Add them up. Zero, nineteen, fifty, eighty-seven, and ninety-two. What do you get? Are you getting two forty eight? You'll get two forty eight. Are you getting two forty eight? One. Uh, 
I got two forty eight. Got two forty eight. Very good. Those who have already got two forty eight, you got the value for sigma x f. Now I want you to find out the value of sigma f. For sigma f, you add up this column. So you're going to add z four. Xf upon sigma f. Sigma f, which is equal to how much? You two got two forty eight already divided by hundred. So what's two. your answer? Two point point four eight is your answer. Are you getting it? Two point two. Your answer is two point four eight. Everyone. Yeah. Okay. Everyone. Kaira, I can't see you, so you have yes, to speak. Trisha, Trisha also. I'm not able to see you, so you have to speak. Yeah. Okay. So this is understood. All right. Any confusion in mean? No. Now we are going to find out median mark. All right. For median. For median. Uh, what does median tell you? Which which number is it? Here we learn something about median. It's always the number in the middle. median is a series of number which is obtained by arranging the numbers in ascending order uh it's the number in the middle if there are two middle numbers then you add the two and find the average of it am i right right so is 100 even or odd n is equal to 100 your or your sigma f which is your n that is equal to 100 this total number is 100 even or odd now we are finding median Is it an even or odd? Come on, tell me. Answer. Oh, I'm sorry, your voice is breaking. Is it even? N is equal to hundred. Is this even or odd? Even. Even. Kaira, why aren't you speaking? It's even. Okay. Now, uh, if you see, uh, now if it is an even number, how many middle numbers are possible now? Two. Two. So, what are the two possible numbers? We'll do. It is n yeah. upon two and n upon two plus one. These are the two middle numbers. This n is nothing but sigma. N is nothing but sigma f. There, I am trying to say the same thing. N and sigma f are the same thing for this question. So, how much is n? N is one hundred divided by two. Yani fifty. But make sure this is fiftieth observation. Okay. And same similarly, n upon two plus one, which is one hundred upon two plus one, यानी कि fifty first observation. So we will try to figure out what is our fiftieth and fifty first observation. Do you think those will be the two middle numbers? Yeah. Yes. Everybody thinks so. Yeah. Okay. Now you have to think. Where do you think will be the fiftieth number? Will it be in the first four? Yeah. Will it be in the first four, the fiftieth number? Fiftieth number. The first four as in no. For frequency of first four. I, I thought like uh, mark of the first four. No. Do you think it will be here? Uh, no, it can't be. Do you think it is in the first nineteen plus four? Yani nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. First twenty. It must 20. be in a uh, between two and three. It okay. Let's so for that. I need to check what is twenty five plus nineteen plus four. What do you get? Twenty five plus nineteen plus four. If you it's add this 15. much, this is it's still forty eight. Do you think fiftieth number will be here? Yeah, it's forty eight. It's forty eight. How can fiftieth number? Time. Then what is the only possibility left? Iska matlab now the fiftieth number. That's what I said. Between two or three. So no, it's not between two or three. It's at three. Yeah, I meant like you know. But I hope you understood the concept here. 
so we are what are we doing we are inspecting this this there is no rule you have to think here all right so first four not possible first uh, 23 not possible first 48 not possible that means the number has to the 50th and 51st values are here so what is the 50th value that is also 3 50th observation is what number 50th observation is 3 and the 51st observation is also oh. th so 3 plus 3 yeah. average by 2 so 3 plus 3 is 6 upon yeah. 2 so which is your 3 is your final answer so what is the median marks it is 3 did you get this most of the children get it wrong when they write, find out the median. I want a yes from everyone because I can't see if you're nodding. So you have to say. Yes, to say. yes miss. Yes. Okay. Now we move to the next topic. That is the model mark. Model mark is the easiest one. Which one has the highest frequency here? Which number? Three. Highest? Three. Why? Because the frequency is how much? 29. 29. So it's very clear because the frequency is 29. It has occurred 29 times. So that means three is the model mark. Is the question clear to everyone? Yeah. Everything mean median mode now. Kaira so is the part of now. Huh? Yeah, everything. Mean what median mode. Uh, you were saying no. Where? How do we find out the um uh, this uh? Uh, and 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 plus one you were saying right? So it's basically yeah. So hundred upon two and hundred plus one upon two. Right? Yes, yes. Now I am going to give you a question. Please do the question. 